everyone, it's Darby from Balloon Television Games. Today, I'm checking out what if Super Mario World had new power-ups. We've done this with Super Mario Bros. 1 and Super Mario Bros. 3 as well. A lot of you wanted to see this with Super Mario World, so let's do it. All right, let's get started with a power-up that we've seen a million times, the dang old Fire Flower. But all the power-ups are in this level, uh, so it's just kind of fun to use every single one, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, next up we have Hammer Mario, which was in Mario 3, but not Mario World. I always thought Mario World was lacking on power-ups a bit. We had cool Yoshis, we had Fire Flower, we had Cape Feather. Uh, but that's about it. Now we have Super Leaf Mario Mario World, which I believe was originally supposed to be in that game. And he looks pretty cool, his face is glitching a little bit there, but that's fine. We can overlook little imperfections, no big deal. And even better than Raccoon Mario is Tanuki Mario, because we can turn into our beautiful statue and dodge these dang bonsai bills that keep trying to kill us. You can also smack stuff with your tail. Do you prefer the Cape Feather or the Super Leaf? Do you like Raccoon Mario better or Cape Mario? Okay, now Frog Mario, also from Mario 3, looks pretty cool in Super Mario World style. We can hop across the top of the water. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And we can swim through this choppy water here. Next up, we have Bomb Mario. <laughs> he looks really cool in this uh, Mario World version. I like it. Let's see. There's a three on it, but I don't know what that means. Seems like we can only throw one bomb at a time. Can I blow up this last little guy here? Nope. We're going to slide through. Grab the old Ice Flower. Ice Flower would have been great to have in Mario World. Being able to freeze all the enemies, especially all the piranha plants. Oops. <laughs> uh, help me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. We screwed that one up, but hey, you know, it was pretty cool. Next up, we have Super Ball. Grab all those pink coins. Well, that was a good shot. All right. Good job, Super Mario World Mario. I'm hearing some screechy noises up top. I'm not sure what it is exactly. There's a Blarg. He looks extra cool for some reason. That's a cool looking Blarg right there. All right. Now we got the Super Carrot, so we can flutter across here and barely make it. And now we got Ninja Mario, one of my favorites. Take out these Pokies with these, pretty cool. And we, oh, we can't fire through those blocks to hit these Piranha Plants. Ninja Mario is really cool, because wall jumping is awesome, but being able to climb walls... We're gonna assassinate these. Oh my gosh, we almost died. But we're on an assassination mission. We must assassinate all those, uh-oh. Well, we don't have any more ninja suits, so there's only one thing to do. Whee! Right, let's try this again. <laughs> Come on! Alright, let's try this again without dying. What the heck? Okay, we're getting torn up here trying to assassinate these dang piranha plants. Dang piranhas ruining my life. Alright, but now we have Boo Mario, and he looks way better in Mario World style than he did in Mario 3 style. Mario 3 style, if you didn't see it, he looked like this. A pink floating head. It was uh, not that booish, but this looks like a Boo. Boo Mario, I like it. We could literally just skip the whole level with Boo Mario. He's extremely overpowered. Uh-oh. <laughs> we glitched through the level. Dang it! Uh, let's try this again. Grab the B. Okay, we're all right. Oh, this might be my favorite so far. Let me know your favorite in this episode for this game style. But B Mario <laughs> looks really cool in Super Mario World style. Of course, with B Mario, we can fly straight up for a pretty long time. How long exactly? Let's find out. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. About three seconds. Three seconds of B flying. Pretty cool. I would love to see a level based on B Mario. Now we got good old Blue Shell. Oh, excellent. With Blue Shell, obviously, we can roll into our shell and take out all these enemies. Pretty dang cool. Do, 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 do. Take out all of you. Oh, <laughs> I wonder what's in that block. That block's going to be a mystery for my whole life. Now we got old Penguin Mario. Oh, man. We threw a dang ice ball and now we can't get through. I need to slide through, like a so. Nice. Again, please. Thank you. Hey, shy guy. Could you help me out here? Oh, we freeze the big piranha plant. Awesome. <laughs> you can pick up the big enemies in this with the ice flower. I like that. Now we got a dang charge and chuck. Ooh, okay. Boomerang Mario looking pretty dang cool in Super Mario World style. 
Third boomerang. Three boomerangs take out a charge and chuck. Seems like a fair deal to me. Now we got the old wall jump power up. Not as good as the ninja suit, but fun to wall jump as always. I always think wall jumping's fun. Alright, so for next time, here's good old Propeller Mario. Uh, do you want to see another game with new power-ups? I was thinking we should switch it up and maybe do what if like Mario 1 had new enemies. And we'll show off all the new enemies in this game. Something like that. I don't know, let me know. Give me some ideas of what I should do next. Always love reading your comments, and I appreciate those comments. Do, 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 do. Alright, so Super Acorn actually fits in Mario World style quite well. He looks really cool. I'm going to try to pick my three favorites as well. Let me know your three favorites in the comments. I think I'm going to go definitely with B Mario. But Super Acorn, Squirrel Mario, he might be in my top three. I don't know. He looks pretty cool. Ooh, Cloud Flower, though. Oh, we get some cool smiley face Mario Worldish styled clouds, which looks pretty dang cool. Now we got this power up. Some people told me what this is called. I kind of forget. It looks like it'd be the double cherries, but now we look like Wario. <laughs> it's the Wario power up where we throw giant fireballs. Cool. I love that he's got Wario's uh, colors, but he looks so happy. <laughs> he doesn't look very Wario-ish, you know? It's Mar Wario. Okay, let's take out this nipper plan over here. And the boulder in Mario World style, I'm super excited to check out. He's got a really cool rock looking hat on. Here we go. <laughs> he looks like he's trying to escape from the rock. <laughs> he's just kind of hanging out. It's a me, ya boulder. All right, now we got some giant Goombas. We can take out with our giant boulder and we got the swooper power up. <laughs> it almost looks like pajamas or something. I don't know, I like it. <laughs> we could easily fly across here. It makes sense to have the super power up in Mario World since, you know, Mario World had swoopers. <gasps> Karate Mario in Mario World style. Uh, it looks like the Pokey mutated through the wall. I'm not sure what's going on here. I like his hair in Mario World style. All right, here we go. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Jump kick. That is awesome. <laughs> Oh man, I want a Karate Mario level. Yeah. Let me know if maybe you'd like to see me make a level in this game too. We could make a Karate Mario level maybe, I don't know. Uh, now we got the old Super Bell Cat Mario action. Need to get through here so we can climb this wall. Kinda like the uh, ninja a little bit, but more cat-like obviously. Cat Mario can smack those blocks out of its way. Oh, we got Peach. Mario Peach. Peach Ario. Uh, this is pretty dang cool. Okay, so we need to drift across the spikes. That's right. Whee! You can double jump, which gives you even more drift. Not quite enough to make it across there. Let's try again. I want to see if I can make it across here. Boom. Uh-oh. Nope. Nope. We already got spikes. Help me! Alright. So we got our lightning bolt power up and our birdo fight. So just gonna throw lightning bolts at Birdo and dodge some eggs. Or we can use the eggs too, you know? I like this lightning power up a lot. I can definitely see some gimmicky levels with this. Always attacks the closest enemy. Go down, Birdo. Uh-oh. We ran out of lightning. Now we have to fight Birdo the old-fashioned way. Alright, finally. We got Birdo. The lightning power up didn't do us a lot of justice. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so the link power up in this style actually looks like Mario dressed up like Link. <laughs> this is awesome! This is my favorite version of Link we've seen so far for the Link power-up. And we get the boomerangs, like the boomerang suit. These bombs look awesome, though. Those are some cool bob bombs. Okay, if we could just blow up this wall, that'd be great. Getting a little closer here. Alright, we had a little trouble getting these bombs where we wanted them to go, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it, sort of. Come get me, Shadow Marios. You don't stand a chance against Mario Link, Link Ario, Mink. I don't know what to call you, but I love this. Man, I would love to see a Link Mario level too. All these could make some cool gimmicky levels. He's holding a sword, a key, and a shield. Pretty impressive. All right, so now we have some Koopa Troopas, so we can actually try out some of these different Yoshis and see if they do anything. 
The purple was the stomping Yoshi. It can ground pounds. Let's see if it can ground pounds uh, question mark blocks too. It can. Now we got good old Kate Mario, a classic. Okay, purple could do ground pounds. Can you do anything, Pink Yoshi? Pink Yoshi... Pink Yoshi doesn't seem to do anything, as far as I can tell. But it's a cool color. I like pink. Blue Yoshi, can it fly when it eats a Koopa Troop? Nope. So Blue Yoshi, as far as I can tell, doesn't do anything either. What about Black Yoshi? Okay, Black Yoshi doesn't seem to do anything. Let's eat a shell. So if you know what pink or blue Yoshi does, or how they can do it, let me know. Looks like the blackish, grayish Yoshi can do the stomps without ground pounding, which is pretty cool. Alright, of course we got good old punchy kangaroo. Can punch this Koopa shell with ease. Whoa! It's like reflex training. <laughs> Too bad you can't get one-ups like that. That'd be so cool. Let's go punch some Koopa Troopas, kangaroo. Boom. Yeah. Punchy kangaroo's pretty dang sweet. Okay. We got the old dinosaur guy. I have no idea what his name is. Someone told me in a comment, but I forget. You can take out the shells with the fireballs. Pretty cool. It looks really weird seeing Kate and Mario ride this thing. Can we fly with them? Nope. That'd be awesome if we could. Alright, I think we've seen pretty much everything, but... Uh, we lost our cape, so... Uh, what happens if we go in the store? <laughs> we die! Yay! All right, I think we've seen everything. It's time to fly up and finish the level. Awesome! So that was What If Super Mario World Had New Power-Ups. All right, so for my three favorites, I'm gonna go with B Mario. I'm gonna go with Karate Mario again. That's a hard one to top for me. Uh, Boulder was pretty awesome, but this time I think I'm gonna go with Squirrel Mario as my third favorite. Let me know your favorites in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Let me know what you'd like to see next time in the comments as well. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll know when I release new videos. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, join the PTG Discord, check out my merch store down below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you around.